everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Art of Breed, and I am Bobby Breed. Well, uh, today we're going to have fun. Our video is going to be another time lapse. We're going to do a time lapse of a piece that I did for um, a very talented artist. His name is Martin Zavala. You've got to check him out. His info is right down there. Um, absolutely beautiful work, airbrush, uh, gorgeous work. I met him at Albuquerque Comic Con and we just hit it off. Uh, awesome guy, we were talking and he ended up giving me this piece. Batman Who Laughs. He basically did it at his table, walked by, we were talking again, he said, you know what, uh, I did this piece, here you go, it's for you. Uh, I was very honored and uh, I wanted to give him something back. So I went ahead and he handed me one of the special boards he uses. And I did a really cool uh, Scarecrow piece. Scarecrow, wait, no, not that one. No, no, not that one. There we go, that, that's the one. <laughs> that's the Scarecrow I did. Um, and so, uh, so the time lapse today is going to be on that Scarecrow piece I did. And remember, be sure to, if you like the video, definitely give it a like. Subscribe right there, boom. And turn on notifications so you're always aware of new videos when they come out. Now, if you stay tuned after that, we're going to have some fun. So if you have any artists in the family, um, any kids, we're going to do the introduction of Kids Zone. I'm going to have a very special guest with me today. If you've uh, met me at any of the conventions, I'm sure you've met him. It's my son, Jeremiah. He's going to be joining hey. us. You mean? Look at that, our special guest. This man, little <laughs> baby. So he's going to be uh, working with me. <laughs> he's so excited. <laughs> he's going to be working with me after the time. I said, we're going to show you how to draw your own scarecrow. Now, which scarecrow do you like? Which is the one that you wanted to do? Animated series, okay? So we're going to be drawing that. Uh, stay tuned, and you know, at this point, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's roll the tape, right? You get to say it today. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
So then I said, it's a giraffe. No? It was that, you don't, he don't. So, Scarecrow, like yay. It. You, you liked it? it? Cool. You liked it? Thank yeah. you, thank you. Well, it's yeah. now time. Uh, our Scarecrow. For Kid Zone. Woo, Kid Zone. <laughs> oh, yay. So, everybody, let's get started on this one. We are going to be doing the Batman animated series. We're going to be doing Scarecrow. Boom, yeah. Okay, kid zone time. First, let's start with the materials you're gonna need. Here we, here we go, material time, okay? So make sure to get all this ready to go. This weirdo man over here. Um, we're gonna start, okay? Follow along at home, we're gonna take our time, but if you have any, um, if at any point, if you need to pause, definitely pause, kind of check your lines, okay? We're just gonna have some fun with this. If you don't make it the first time, either go with it or flip your uh, paper over, over and do it again. Yeah. See, there you go. There's no pressure. This is going to be fun, okay? You just want to have a good time with it. So, let us let's do it. Okay, here we go. So, for this portion of the video, we actually decided to speed it up just a little bit so be sure to pause as you need to uh, play it back a little bit slower uh, to be able to follow along Yeah, I love this part here. I love the, the teeth, the crooked teeth. It really adds some great uh, emotion to the character. Jeremiah is doing such an awesome job with uh, with the face and really uh, determining how he wants this body to look. Uh, he's been doing a great job on this. Now do a little circle right there, a little circle. Perfect. And from that circle you're going to draw two long there you go. Yeah, one more, maybe shorter or longer. Perfect, Mente. Okay, now let's finish the bottom of that. That right there should finish down here. And that's going to be just like this part up here, but it's going to be a little ragged because it's part of this torn shirt. Wonderful. Yeah, this is the fun part. We get the chance to see the crooked teeth. Love this part. So before I usually do a marker, what I'll do is I'll put a couple pieces of paper, you know, one or two sometimes underneath, just so the marker doesn't uh, doesn't go through and hurt whatever material is underneath it, like your table or your desk. And then just start going down. Just 
follow the lines. You can make up some new ones as you go. Something that feels right. Sometimes I'll add something as I'm going. Sometimes as I'm going, I realize that some of the initial lines I did uh, maybe weren't as clean, and that's okay. You know, maybe those lines didn't quite match up the way I'm kind of seeing it now. So there's nothing wrong with just making adjustments on the fly, making adjustments as you go. Kind of cool to experiment sometimes too. Sometimes the, the initial lines, maybe they are the best lines, but maybe uh, there's something else that you're seeing now as you're doing it. Have fun with it. Go ahead and try something different. See if you want to add something in that you wouldn't usually do just to maybe make a different look to the character. Sometimes I'll go back over it. The thicker lines will help to make certain parts uh, stand out and give it some thickness, some depth. So there's certain areas that I like to kind of have stand out, especially the shoulders in the character like this, like ooh. Nothing, nothing brawny, more give him some feel and look at that. Yeah, I like that. That works. Do like that. There we go. And this, you know, this is just something that stylistically I enjoy doing uh, but you're you might maybe put accents on different parts of the body uh, it's something that you just kind of come up with on your own as you work over time so this is just something uh, I prefer to do myself and you're gonna find your way you're gonna start realizing that your hand wants to do certain motions uh, and add certain effects to things and that's kind of the that's cool. That's the beauty of creating your own style. 
you're going to start realizing what you feel comfortable with, what you like to do. And play around with the colors, whatever colors feel right, <clears throat> whatever you, whatever's kind of working at the time, you just go with it. Sometimes the colors are going a little bit darker than we expect. Because the way these marker, because of the way these markers uh, sometimes fade, uh, it actually can be to your benefit. What I do is I will use if I can see that it's fading at the end. What I'll do is I'll turn the marker head. So instead of having it like this, I might turn it like this and do a different stroke to create this effect, as if there's lighting right. Press a little bit harder in the front and kind of let it go as I'm coming towards where I want shading. Sign it and ultimately we are good. Well, 
guys, that was so fun. I love doing this with my dad. Dad, I love yours. This looks really, what do you really cool. Thank you, but this guy, his, fantastic, fantastic. And you know what? We really do look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. So uh, send any of the pictures that you draw to that email address right there. I would love to see what you guys have. And uh, be sure, I know he hasn't mentioned it, but be sure to check out my channel. his channel. A lot of fun on there. You'll see him on some of the videos and my whole family. And we're going to do some art videos just like the one we just did in there. There we go. There we go. Kids Zone here for art and then Kids on his channel. Nice. Well, everybody, thank you. Hope you had a great time. And uh, make sure to like subscribe get notifications and also check out my instagram page i'm getting ready to do some new stuff on there oh uh, yeah i think that's it right and also make sure to see his other videos oh yeah check out my other well my other video, video. <laughs> well have a good one you guys be safe be healthy and be happy bye bye, bye, -bye.